Hello everyone, welcome back to BF Expective once again. In today's video, we will talk about two most important features in Unreal Engine 5.2. Using these features, we can take our environment design skill to the next level. Yes, I am talking about procedural content generation and substrate material. And these two features are available in Unreal Engine 5.2. And make sure you have also the same. So, without much further ado, let's start with the first feature which is procedural content generation so here we are inside of Unreal Engine 5 so first thing you have to do is we have to enable the plugin so let's go to edit plugin and here we have to search for procedural P R O C, and you can see procedural content generation framework okay so you have to enable this one and your computer will ask for restart so restart the program so after restarting we will create a new level now so let's go to file new level uh, i will choose this one basic i don't want to waste time on light setting okay create and then i will delete this floor and you can see the light setup is ready for our scene so i will simply go to my selection mode and select the landscape and here i will simply create okay so our landscape is ready let's do some little bit of uh, sculpting so that we can see our effect okay so i will simply so as you can see i have sculpted the landscape little bit okay we will see our result on this so let's go to our selection mode again now you will go to our content browser and i will go to my content and here i will create a folder right click new folder and i will rename this as pcg and again right click and here you can see the pcg graph okay just select this and you can rename this anything like i'm going to rename this as grass let's open this okay and this is our editor window you can see there is two nodes are there input and output okay so we have to add some things in between this okay so first we have to search for right click and here we have to search surface sampler okay just select this and if i go to input here we have the option landscape original actor and much more things okay so for our scene we are going to add the tree or add the grass over our landscape so i will simply select the landscape and connect this to the surface okay so this is the first step and let's move it here and our second step is how much density or how much count we want to add okay so again right click and here i will search for transform points okay this one and just connect this and again we have to specify which object like we want to spread the grass or tree or any other 3d object okay so again we will add right click and static mesh spawner okay and simply connect this so these are the basic things so let's see what happening in our scene okay so minimize here is our scene we have not applied yet so let's save our project first save all and i will rename this as pcg and again save current level okay so if i uh, and then I will save this and let's drag and drop this in our scene okay you can see a massive box is there okay you can see so so now you can see there is nothing in our scene nothing is affecting now so let's go to our sur so let's go to our surface sampler here and if I right click and click on debug now you can see some small boxes are there okay let me minimize this yes you can see you can see the boxes these are the points in which we will add the 3d object okay so suppose i will add a 3d tree or 3d grass then this box will be replaced by that grass or that tree okay so before apply any meshes you should check this so suppose i will move this to here you can see the points are reacting according to the landscape okay according to the slope suppose i will move this to this area you can see now this is completely flat 
okay again if i move to this upper area landscape area this is so amazing okay so let's do some changes here let's enable the debug of transform points also okay right click and debug okay now if i go to my yes one more thing if we select the surface sampler and in the right side you can see lots of options are there okay like looseness points per square meter mostly we will add 0.1 and in the seed you can change the randomness we will see after apply some grasses or anything so don't worry about that and in the looseness if we increase this the density will be decreased okay and if we decrease the value the density will be increased just think like this so let's take this like three yes three is fine and that's all then we will go to transform points and here we have extra option like rotation scale okay suppose here we have scale minimum and scale maximum here i will add like 0 0.1 and maximum scale i will add by three okay now you can see different types of different scale of boxes are available now you can see okay and here you can see rotation option rotation minimum and maximum in the g-axis if i apply like 30 you can see the rotation okay and in the maximum rotation i will add 90 in this option you can add different random rotation okay so let's make it by default and actually minimum density actually minimum rotation i will add 30 and maximum i will add 90 okay so this is okay for me so let's turn off the debug now debug off debug off so our final step is static mesh spawner here we will add the 3d meshes okay whatever you want to add here you will see the tag option and if we go down here is a plus icon okay let's click on this and here we have the mesh option we can add anything here suppose we will add some sphere and here you can see different scale of sphere are there okay and suppose we will change it to something like box yeah so let's download something from the quicksell bridge and we will add that in our scene so let's save this and, and let's go to our quicksell bridge and here i have downloaded some 3d grasses i will use that and show you so to show i will add this one and this one these two kind of grasses okay one is plain grasses and second one is some flower grasses okay so let's uh, make it high quality and export because i have already downloaded this okay and here what i can do you can see these are the grasses i have already exported so i will simply drag and drop this in our static mesh option okay so suppose i will drag and drop here and you can see the grass are updated okay so let's add some more 3d mesh index in our pcg editor okay so i will add four times one two three four okay so that i can use different kind of grasses and here i will use this one and in the third i will add this one and use different kind of grasses okay so that it will look different and and variations between them okay and in fourth number i will add this one okay so let's see what happening in our scene so if you see the grasses are so small and density is so less so what we can do if i go to my surface sampler and here we can increase or decrease the density mean looseness so if we decrease this you can see lots of grasses but still we have to increase the scale of our grasses okay so let's go to transform points here we can change the scale so i will add the minimum scale by 10 and maximum will be suppose 20 and here you can see okay you can see the different kind of different scale of grasses here okay 
सपोज आई विल अगेन सर सपोज आई विल अगेन गो टू सरफेस सैम्पल इफ आई एम इंक्रीजिंग दिस पॉइंट पर स्क्वायर मीटर लिटिल बिट नॉट मोर ओके द डेंसिटी आर इंक्रीजिंग ओके लेट मी मिनिमाइज दिस यू कैन सी गैस दिस इज सो मच इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इजी टू यूज सो लेट्स एड सम अनदर काइंड ऑफ ग्रासेस दैट इज फ्लावर ग्रासेस सो यू कैन एड द मेसेस और न्यू मेसेस और न्यू ऑब्जेक्ट इन द सेम पी सी जी ग्राफ और यू कैन क्रिएट ए न्यू पी सी जी ग्राफ लेट मी शो यू हेयर आई एम इन साइड द पी सी जी फोल्डर एदर यू कैन क्रिएट ए न्यू पी सी जी बाय राइट क्लिक पी सी जी एंड यू कैन रीनेम दिस एनी थिंग और इफ आई वॉन्ट टू एड अनदर मैच इन साइड दैट सेम ग्राफ वट आई हैव टू डू आई हैव टू ओपन दिस ओके एंड लेट मी शो यू वट आई विल डू आई विल सिलेक्ट दिस थ्री दिस सर्फेस सैम्पलर ट्रांसफॉर्म पॉइंट्स एंड स्टार्टिक्स मैक्स स्पॉनर ओके दिस थ्री आई हैव टू कॉपी एंड पेस्ट इट हियर ओके सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू कनेक्ट दिस नाउ फर्स्ट आई विल चेंज एवरीथिंग सो आई विल सिलेक्ट दिस स्टार्टिक्स मैक्स स्पॉनर and i will minimize this okay let's go to our another grass so these are my second grass something like flower so what i will do i will simply drag and drop in this mesh option okay so let's drag and drop this is second one and this will be third one and this is our fourth and this is fifth okay you can add more mesh option here if you have lots of meshes okay lots of different kind of meshes so this is okay for me now so my next step will be uh okay as you can see this is not connected to our input so let me show you what will happen if i connect that okay so i will simply connect this to our landscape and you can see flowers are updated and this is our second grass okay so don't worry we can decrease the scale decrease the density and much more things okay also we will connect this to our output and let's go to our surface sampler now so what i want i want to decrease the flower grass density little bit okay so i will select the surface sampler and open the editor here and decrease the point per square little bit yeah this much is fine for me and you can edit anything anytime from here so if i go to my first grass option here we have surface sampler and here also i want to decrease the value i mean decrease the density let's see yeah and here i want to tell you something here you can see the first grass and second grass are overlapped here okay means the flower grasses and the normal grasses are overlapping so how we can place that in different area okay suppose this area are empty so we want to place the flower grasses in this areas so let's see let's go to our second grass this one okay and if i change the seed okay now we can see they are changing their position okay we have to play with the seed okay and you can get your desired result okay do whatever you want so this is the simple process of procedural content generation so try this use this and give a comment how this is helpful for you okay so to use the substrate material we have to do some project setting so let's go to our edit project setting and here in the search box you have to search for substrate and here you can see substrate material experiment and three options are there simply enable this three and your computer will ask for restart the program so restart now after restarting the project we will create a new folder okay right click new folder suppose we will name this as substrate and here we will go to right click and create a new material and open this and as if you open we can see some changes here in our material editor okay so here we have substrate slab and this is our new material which is our final output 
so you can see some options are same here like diffuse albedo and emissive color normal roughness okay this all are same kind of things so let's start from here so i will add some basic color to our diffuse albedo so i will connect this by constant 3 vector this one and i will change this color to something like sky this kind of color okay and hit ok then i will connect this roughness to something single constant and i will increase its value by 0.1 so that we will get a shiny chrome and our next step is sss mfp you can see here subsurface kind of material okay so i will connect this and search for substrate and here you can see substrate transmittance to mean free path okay so select this one and connect this to here and that's all so you can see there is nothing is changed here so substrate material is like one material then another material okay this kind of material so we created only one material here so we need one more material to see the result okay so let's copy this you can copy the same this substrate slab or you can search also like substrate wait substrate slab okay this one okay so let's create another material here for here i will choose a normal map so right click and search for texture and you have to select texture map parameter 2d okay and i will select the texture map from here uh, let's search for tile and let's select this okay let's connect this to our normal map and also i will add the roughness constant and i will increase the value like 0.1 so now we have to connect these two material okay so to connect that we have to deselect this node and let's do right click and substrate and here you can see different kind of blending option okay to blend all two three four materials that we have created so for now i am choosing this vertical layer substrate okay and if i go you can see this is top layer and this is bottom layer okay and third one is top thickness mean the thickness of top layer how thick it will be okay so let's connect this this will be our top layer this is our bottom layer and top thickness so we have to connect this to our constant and let's use this something like 0.01 okay and we will connect this to our front material okay let's see what will be the result if you see here there is some texture inside okay and that texture is from this normal map so let's add a base color also so select this and constant constant 3 vector and i will select the color pink let's see the result you can see the little bit of pink tint inside so here in the top thickness if i decrease the value much more like 0 0.001 yeah you can see the complete pink color because the top thickness is decreased so suppose i will increase 0 0.005 little bit yeah now you can see the difference means this there is a transparent sphere and inside that another sphere is there another metallic sphere is there okay in this process you can add three four five six many more textures or materials okay and suppose i added this normal map to here and you can use the same in this layer okay you don't have to worry about this suppose i will deselect this okay and i will place this here and i will connect this to our normal map let's see the result yeah you can see the normal map is applied to our top layer okay and this is also looking cool beautiful so this is for today's video guys if you like this video if this video is helpful for you please give a thumbs up to this video so that i can make more content about the unreal engine and filmmaking and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel for more 
Unreal Engine and filmmaking related contents. See you again in the next time. Have a nice day.